Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Well, it's been a blast from the past on this collection. It's the return of the DC busts. Nearly lost my words there. <laughs> but this is the um, next figure that I've got. I believe it's Ra's al Ghul. Um, I bought this on Vinted for £5 um, from the same seller that was selling me the Harry Potter figures. Um, so I'm really happy with this. Unfortunately, they don't have the magazine. So if anybody out there has the magazine that goes with this figure, please do reach out for me. I would very happily pay postage. I'm not going to pay for the magazine because it's pointless. But if you would like to give that away, perhaps you don't want it anymore, please, please, please get in touch with me at mikescanmodels at gmail.com because I really would love to read about this character, um, you know, as I do with all the other magazines that I do. Um, but yeah, so anyway, bought this for £5, as I said, it is from the DC Batman Universe Collectors Bus, this collection is no longer running, it's no longer uh, able to subscribe to, because the company who made it, Eagle Moss Collections, has gone out of business, however, you can still pick them up, you know, through um, uh, Vinted, eBay, Facebook, there are loads of Facebook selling sites, um, so yeah, we'll have a look in here, hopefully this is a lot more better than Letterless Strange. Um, so we'll soon find out, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, but it just feels, I can't, I'll have to look back over the videos because I, I don't recall when I filmed on this, I think it's been, what, two years since I filmed on this, <laughs> so yeah, this is how long it takes, if you don't see it on the channel, it's because I'm hunting it down, because I'm trying to hunt these figures, and trying to get hold of them is quite difficult, because a lot of them sell them like this without the without the magazine and then I saw it and I, I was like do you have the uh, magazine for it she was like no and I thought right okay I don't want it then because I want you know the set the magazine with the figure and then I thought a couple of days later I was thinking to myself if I don't get this I could miss my only opportunity to get this figure so I was like do you know what it's just a magazine at the end of the day pish posh the main part is this but yeah so there was a YouTuber a while back sent me a map he sent me a massive box um, of the DC busts, um, which was very kind of him. Um, which had like, I think it was like Harlequin and stuff in there. But let's take a look in here. So uh, obviously I can't show you the magazine because the seller didn't have it. Um, so yeah, that's pretty good. So let's take a look in here. Now, just before we start, there is talk about a, bat, uh, about a super... I can't get it out. Spider-Man Build Your Own Bust. If you've subscribed to Fan Home and you're subscribed to their emails, you would have got a survey. And if you took the time to fill out that survey, you will see that there's Baby Groot, there's Groot. Um, talk about war, uh, war Machine build-up models. And one of them was Build Your Own Bust. Um, so if that comes out, I think that'd be great. Because uh, obviously I deal with busts. Basically a bust is a, a character or a figure that is only the top part of the body. You don't get the lower part of the body like the legs or the feet and stuff like that. It's only the top half of the body um, that you get, hence the word bust. So let's take a look in here. As you can see it's sealed so it's not been uh, opened, which is great. Let's take a look inside here. Now I do tend to chuck these packs away because... If, for example, I needed to store them, I can always wrap them up in bubble wrap. With these, they're a lot more easier to store and carry and manoeuvre than they are the Harry Potter figures. With the Harry Potter figures, they're extremely fragile. As you saw in Letter of Strange, I had to glue it. But with these, they've got such a sturdy weight. What is that? Oh, crap. His fingers fell off. Okay, again, we can tack that. This is the problem we have. This is, this is the issue, is that... It doesn't matter how much packaging you've got, the they will always break somewhere down the line. But most of it, as you can see, is there. So if I moved it, I could move that quite happily. Just a bit of bubble wrap should do it. Now, unfortunate, it is unfortunate that this figure's hand has just fell off. I'm just going to do a closer inspection. Um, so I can see that everything seems to be tip-top in condition. The paintwork is superb, actually. Even the gold piping down here looks great. There's a little blemish of a... Uh, yeah, that looks like a defect there of black paint. It's really, really good. Um, really dark black paint there. The logo's great. Um, all up here, the black hair is pretty good. And the white going into that. This is pretty damn good. I mean, for five quid I paid for this. It, it's immaculate. It's really, really lovely done. There's no defect on the face. I mean, sometimes with 
the figures they'll bright the skin will color will right will go into the black hair on like perhaps the coat um or they'll look like they've been like sometimes the hands will look like they've been like that and they'll be all bulky with the paint and that but whoever's painting this has done a fabulous job it's really spot on i mean obviously the only defects there would be the blemish um but even the paintwork i mean these eyes are you know the detail is fantastic i'm really happy with this right so let's see what we can do with this hand we'll get some this one will pro probably again need epoxy but unfortunately i didn't expect it's I probably need to order some just to be on standby. Um, uh, but it's not really something that I use a lot. Let's see what we can do here. I have to put a bit more glue. Yeah, this is more like epoxy. God, this is going to be challenging. I've got to really hurry up. Hurry up here. Let me try and get that finger stuck on. Again, it's it's great that it's only that. Oh, that's a perfect fit. When you're gluing, it's a, you need to try and sort of make it so that it doesn't look like it's cracked. So sometimes, depending on the break, you've got a clean cut. Sometimes you might have to sand it down and remod it to make it stick. But we'll just bond that there for a couple of minutes. Um, and as you can see, that doesn't even look broke. So. I'm not entirely sure how that broke, but it is what it is. You know what parcel com companies are like. They like to smash it and dump it and slam it in their trucks with no... Oh, oh, oh. Wow, okay. I think that looks good. Pretty good to me. It might fall off, but as I said, epoxy, it's a different... It's a solvent, but obviously you've got... I think it's super glue and epoxy or it's something, but it's normally in a syringe bottle because you've got two different types of bonding. So the epoxy, I think, hardens it and the other side glues it or something like that, but they both have to be squeezed in together to make it glue. It's normally only used, as I said in Harry Potter, it's normally only used if, say, super glue doesn't do the job. It's much more of a, a stronger bonding glue. But I'll have a look at that. Normally, if you're buying in, in shops, unfortunately, they do have to ID you because it's a solvent. Um, but, yeah, um, I might have a look and get some just to be on the safe side now that we're getting figures again. Um, it's probably best to get some ordered. Um, but n when I order Gorilla Glue, it seems to come through fine without being ID'd. So, uh, yeah, so that's a clean cut. I mean, it's got a bit of a, a glue blob there, but if I ta if I go in with that again... It's going to probably drop off again, but I think that's great. Look at that. I've done a bloody good job on that. Oh, do you know what? There is a very faint line, but I'm happy with that. That couldn't have gone any better. That is a really, really lovely piece. What a fantastic bust. I am really, really like that. And as I said, as you, you know, it's up to you if you keep the packaging, but these are much more easy to carry around uh, and move than the Harry Potter ones. When I put the Harry Potter ones down, I like to put them down and leave them because they are extremely delicate. And as I said, I don't, I, I get very worried picking them up because the slightest knock and it will break. But yeah, so as I said, this is the only one I found at the moment. I am looking at the Batman cow that is with, um, it's, you know, that big blue mask one that's with HMV at the moment. It's, uh, for eight pounds so i may be getting that but this is just like a a temporary video put in until we can hunt down some more harry potters but that is that so please remember to like share subscribe we've got more military watches coming up soon take care have a lovely evening and remember if you want to get the dc batman busts please check out facebook selling groups vinted ebay gumtree all the selling groups out there and you may be able to get one for yourself but for five quid really really good and as i said if anyone's got the magazine for this issue please 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 reach out to me um i'm more than happy to cover car, uh, cover postage but i really would love to have this magazine it's really really lovely even if you just you know put it on vinted or something reach out to me i can order it um you know pay through vinted or something i don't know but i really would love to get that magazine i'll have a browse see if i can locate just the magazine as well but i mean i can i can't get over the paintwork it is t really really top quality and i'm happy with that take care guys
bye.